Hi, this is Val Cripps, and I wanted to record an intro video for those of you who are just meeting me for the first time, and for those of you who already know me a really long time and need a reintroduction. We all have busy lives, and we come and go through each other's social media and in person. And so I'd love to say hello again if you're watching this. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. Tell me how you found me. And uh, tell, tell us something about yourself. Let's build community through this platform. So I'm Val. My platform is Valtopia. That's the name of my company as well. And I birthed my company, my platform, and the movement Valtopia here at the beach. I Hello, Valtopia. Happy New Year. Mm-hmm. Let's see if anybody's online. Happy New Year. Hey, honey. Let's hang. Say hello if you're here. Happy New Year. <laughs> I tagged Allison. She's probably in bed. All right, I tag a few people. Say hello. Hi, Sue. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going on? This is my music from my latest drop. And um, if you haven't seen me before, hi, honey. I'm Val Cripps. Welcome to Valtopia. You're on the stream. Happy New Year. Uh, I just thought, what better way to start 2022 than jumping on and bringing the energy. And, oh, I need to tag um, Sarah because she inspired this. Sarah has been serving the troops today, and um, I'm here to love on you. I'm here to bring my love, and to, I really want to pull, I did a really awesome reading earlier today. Keisha, I just was going to tag you. Happy New Year. Yeah. So I was going to, um, I have a reading that I did earlier today that was on point with the astrology. Woo! And um, I'm going to post it in Valtopia tomorrow, probably, and I'm about to... Thank you. It feels so festive, doesn't it? Happy New Year. Yes. So uh, let me start that over again. So this is the music from my latest drop, which you can get in the Celebrate membership, which is not a live group, but it's like a you know portal membership where you get all, all the goodies. And that's been really good for me this these last few months because I've been less one-to-one -one and more um, focused on my children and my creative expression and my womb healing, honey, and that's a lot of focus, the womb healing. It's deep. And so 2022, um, I'm feeling so much uh, grounded presence. And um, man, I have some good stuff to share. So the frequencies that are coming through are about peace. Peace, honey, peace. And the reading that I did in Valtopia, I got the, pulled the peace card a few times. <laughs> So I'm grateful to be here on New Year's Eve in my home, peaceful, calm. My kids are with their dad, and um, I just didn't feel like doing anything, so I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I feel like peaceful. Like, just let's start the year, like, fresh. I've been doing my whiteboards today and journaling. I've been writing about what I want and what I'm releasing. And, you know, we have a new moon on Sunday night, so the energy is so good for figuring out, ooh, well, that's not aligned, and ooh, that's aligned. So how's your new year going, Keisha, and everybody that's watching? What's happening? What are you doing? Let's pull some cards while we're hanging and see what, see, let's see what 2020 is going to bring for us, right? Now, we all know, most of you that are in this stream and watching <clears throat> know that we've had some fun in 2020 and 2021, and the fun is going to continue into 2022. Um, because we're building, we're building, and much like my couple of years I've had, especially the last six months, eight months, it's about that inner journey um, and the disruption that lets you go inward to to really like ah go after the stuff that that is calling you and that maybe the deepest parts of you aren't letting you do right, and and the deepest parts are calling you. So 2022 is definitely going to be a personal growth year for all of us, right? Um, let's do a little shuffle and light language and call in our guides just to begin this beautiful evening experience. 
and um, I'm so grateful to be with each and every one of you that are here, and I want to thank each of you that show up when I do show up, that have invested, that have um, grown with me, that have shown support, that just, you know, that you're here in the Valtopia sphere with me. I just want to, I just want to thank you always because... You know, it's a lot to, to bring through all this when you're mothering and as you know, Keisha, like when you're living life and to bring through a, a healthy, juicy presence and content that's worthy and be in integrity with all of it and keep growing and well, it's a beautiful, powerful experience and I'm grateful to share it with each of you. Oh my goodness. Keisha says she's finishing up monthly group posts for January and chilling, writing down accomplishments. I know you have some big ones, Keisha. Share them here if you want to share it here. I'm like, so let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. All right, so let's pull some more um, messages coming through and um, just calling in. Um, I, I already did before I started, before I came on, but let's just do a really quick, really energetic, grounding and embodied um, call in for our guides and blessings for this 2022 and releasing everything that we are done with that we finished, that we blessed out on in 2021, let it go. Let it go from ourselves. Let the cords be cut with loving, thankful gratitude and learning. Let there be a release of any energy and attachment that is just no longer in alignment with, with what's happening for us. And so, um, hi Susan, happy new year. Yes. So um, calling in these, our guides, calling in our highest loving presence, calling in creator, creator, thank you for bringing us together in this live stream, on the replay, in the live experience to allow us, oh my goodness, I look down, manifest our heart's desire, peace, love, bliss, abundance, wealth, health, connection, community, thriving vitality, love, deep soul love. So these are some of the things that we're calling in. So we, I've been doing a lot of soul writing today. Sunday's a new moon and the way the astrology's lined up with everybody in the, in the world deciding from the Gregorian calendar that it's a new year. What a great time to have a new moon and to really call in, um, you know, releasing uh, what isn't true for us anymore and, and calling what is. So it's definitely a great time for rejuvenation. Um, <laughs> okay, Susan, I love it. Yeah. yeah. So let's pull a card. And if you're here and you'd love a Starseed Oracle card or a Sacred Rebel card, share the live stream or like one of my latest videos or do something helpful. And, um, and I'd love to tune in with you. I'd love to tune in with you. Yes. So let's pull one for the collective. And, um, you know... What, I'm, what I know from my own experience is that we ebb in and out of what we ask for and what we call in and what we are aligned to. And the dips can feel exponential in these times when we have our children and our family at so much, you know, at odds and at, at, at tension and everything. And um, your coherence, your cohesion within your trust of what is coming through for you because you've spent time with yourself and become aware of what is true for you and what isn't true for you. The gift of that, which at first, if you've gotten out of touch with yourself, can feel like nothing's happening. Even if you're a boss at this, like you can get out of practice and your mind will trick you and tell you it's not happening, but it is, it is, it is happening. Um, and just reclaim again and again uh, that coherence within, that deep unity, the trust, the grounded calm and peace that comes from just being quiet with your heart and knowing your own integrity and speaking your authentic truth. Even when you're shaking and sweating and um, <laughs> you think you're not gonna get what you want and maybe you won't. Like I, I spoke my truth so powerfully in the last couple months and believed fully in the resonance of my truth. And uh, I did not achieve my truth at this time. And I know that there's a reason for that. And I'm so glad I spoke my truth all the way. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't be able to be as calm and present with what has already happened. 
So thank you, Keisha. I can't wait to read you. Hi, too. Welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So um, let's pull a card for the collective in this beautiful, dynamic, ah, decisive, loving, expansive, grounded, creative energy. What is 2022 uh, going to be for us? I'm going to turn this down a little bit right now. And I'm just going to see what comes through for me without the card. into that heart space, Valtopia, let's see. So what I see coming through for us for 2022. The message, the first message is wanting to come through is to tie up loose ends. Yes, Susan, we spoke our truth. Yes. So Tying up loose ends, meaning don't let there be attachments, codependent attachments, um, assumptions, the word assumptions is coming through. Don't make assumptions about your relationships. Um, definitely with yourself, mostly. And that's what I spent a lot of time today doing is talking to myself and letting former versions of myself speak up and comforting them and then letting them go, okay? so. I saw this when I closed my eyes. I almost said something. The blue flame. The blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. Okay? So we're having this um, energy of creation and activation. And I've been in this energy for quite some time. I've been talking about doing activation since 2016. And for me, the the... The expanse of my work is coming into the womb space and the pleasure space and um, the soulgasm, the soulgasm. Because I found when I do uh, these energetic uh, transmissions, we feel this, oh, we feel this bliss when we connect. We feel this bliss because we connect to our earthly connection and we feel this bliss because we feel the connection through our crown. Hi Raquel, and we feel our heart open and then we feel this buzzing throughout our body and it's just the cellular rejuvenation to divine love and brilliance that that is like the blue flame. It's just, it's, just, it's a beautiful, powerful thing. And in order for us to keep resonating in that expanse, that kundalini energy, there's a grounding and a peace that has to come through. And, um, that's what I'm working with in my work for 2022. I began the work this year, and then I had to pull myself back and really embody what I'm going to be sharing. And that was hard for me to do because I'm used to showing up and being out there and doing all these things, and I was really guided. Like, no, you, you've got to you've gotta, um, come. Look, the next card is exactly. Got to get earthed. Got to get earthed and learn how to be human and balance being mother with um, being a, a woman, with being um, a guide, with being, but mostly with being the best guide to my all of myself. Um, and really all of us are acknowledging the parts that we haven't been willing to or haven't been able to fully integrate, right? So if you know what that is for you for 2022, put it in the comments. And let's ask that these cards illuminate to us what that is for each of you that are here. And everyone that would love a card, um, share the live stream for me and, uh, and, I'm happy, and tell me, and then I'm happy to, to, uh, to do it. So I'm going to tune in with Keisha first and, and um, just see what comes through. And uh, we're going to tune into what is this integration what is this earthing? What is the embodiment? What is my womb and pleasure center calling to me uh, for 2022? 
Hi, Jen. Happy New Year. Yes, your mama. Yes. So, let's have a New Year's Eve celebration of our divine connection, of our big juicy hearts, of our authentic, caring, loving, grounded Shamama love that is about to just light up and it already has been so much of what we spent years of our life embodying. And so this integration activation, this love that's coming through for our blessing of 2022 is whatever message, whatever frequency, whatever release, whatever receiving, is meant for you to feel that wholeness of yourself, the wholeness of yourself and the integrity of the bliss that comes through you and that's gonna keep you going through uh, this 2022. So Keisha, let me know when you feel me tuning in. I'm already starting to do a little, whoop, <laughs> a little clearing activation here. And let me know when you feel me tuning in. I'm gonna do a little light language to really ground in Ah, an anchor in our guides from this moment and just for this time where we're connecting and asking, what is our 2022 energy and integration? All right, Keisha. I see this um, periwinkle violet energy. Mm. I'm getting some, some animal medicine, interesting, coming in. I have to look that up and see what that's about. <laughs> and I feel some energy that's popping in my chest. Um, that goes straight into the heart chakra and down into the solar plexus. Nothing like really, um, is, I'm just aware of it. And then I'm seeing some blue, your guides are coming in and there's some connections happening as I tune in with you. Let me know what you feel. Keisha, burptopia. <laughs> That's right, Jen. <laughs> I love this. Wow. Okay, so your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, defenseless, writing past wrongs and uprooting, uprooting. Lots of heart energy and periwinkle. Yeah, I could just, it just was like, came over the whole thing. I was like, oh, I love it. Almost this color a little bit, but it's a little more violet than the bluish color. And then we have the blue flame, the periwinkle, we have the forgiveness, uh, we have the heart opening. And I feel the energy going up into almost like an area up here. So it feels like the integration for you, Keisha, is about a brain repatterning. Um, as you love and open your heart and do this uh, work that you're doing, um, the solar plexus and that part where the heart connects in there definitely has a connection up to something that's that wants to be regenerated in the brain there. How does that resonate for you? And anyway, let me think about what I saw when I tuned in. Yeah, I gotta look up, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say what animal it is, I wanna look it up because I wanna make sure what I saw in my mind's eye. I love it. It's your new mantra. Let's hear your, I wanna, yes. Let's hear it again, let's hear the mantra. Woo! You've been given. Like, let's, yes, I love it. And you guys, I haven't gone live in a while, so if I'm extra cheesy, love on me extra cheesy more. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful to be connecting with you guys tonight and in, in the flow of divine uh, connection. Um, did anybody else share and want a card? Was that you, Raquel? Did you want a card? Hello. So, As above, so below, and this work um, of connecting into uh, um, the womb even. I am magic from sun up to sundown, moonrise to moonfall, and all the moments in between. I am magic. I love it, I love it. 
No, it wasn't an ape or a gorilla. <laughs> I love that though. Is that what you saw or you're feeling? <laughs> I love that. I am magic from sun up to sundown, a moonrise to moonfall, and all the moments in between. I am magic. Yes. Yes. Let's breathe into that space. And I feel like a little um, expansion happening on the chest here as these frequencies come in. And um, just trying to see if anything comes through for what, what that energy was up here. That's so interesting. I feel there's more burps happening too. So I will, I will let you know uh, what the animal medicine was and because I, I saw it in my mind's eye and I wanna look up and make sure. Oh, he carries the, yeah. No, it wasn't, it was a small animal and, and um, I have an animal, I'm gonna, I'll look it up and make sure because I wanna make sure what I saw in my mind's eye is the right thing. And hello everyone who's here. And say happy new year. So um, blessings. Blessings, Keisha. Hi, Sarah, there you are. You gonna come back and watch. Yes, I'm so proud of you and grateful for you coaching everyone and helping the vets through this difficult day and time. You're blessed, such a blessing. So just thought I'd pop on and I did come on for you, Sarah. So <laughs> I know it's late for you, so that's fine. You get to come back tomorrow and enjoy some, some Veltopia love. And um, I'm gonna post inside of Autopia uh, the reading that I did. It's much more expen expensive, extensive. Um, if nobody wants their, uh, their own card, I'll keep pulling some cards for the collective. See what uh, what messages we get coming through. Sacred rebels, sacred rebels. What? How can we? Um, and thank you, Keisha. I'm just gonna uh, de lovingly pull out of your energy field, and I know that that. Whatever that is, that you are so good about picking up these cues and running with it. I know it'll come in. Mm. <sighs> yeah, a lot of energy moving around. My pleasure. So, let's see what we have here. Against the grain. Against the grain. How many of you feel like you're going against the grain? <laughs> now is your time to trust yourself and to stand and speak your truth and to really let um, the action, the energy of taking action carry you beyond a moment that doesn't feel where you wanna be, right? We, when we begin something new, we feel awkward. When we're doing something um, that's against the grain, it feels uncomfortable. Hi, Lauren. And we get to, um, we get to fully uh, step into that feeling uncomfortable, feeling like we're not sure. Even if we've done it before and we failed, we get to try again and believe in ourselves. Or if we have uh, uh, succeeded, we get to exponentially grow it. We get to trust ourselves um, to move into action. And that's something that you can forget when you're experiencing a trauma response or you're reliving um, a moment where you're kind of not in your more expansive um, trust. And uh, you gotta remember to, to leap into that action because it's in the moment of doing the thing that you're just going to change the energy and come into a, a better place about it. So. Spirals of manifestation, right? The, the experience we have, it, it's a spiral. It's a spiral. It's not a line going up and down, you know, oh, we just go up. And I know people share their successes and they, at first I did this, then I did that, and then I did that. And uh, it's a spiral. We, 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 um, we grow and we, we take that action and we change the energy and then stuff happens and then we recalibrate to what happened and then we expand again. So it has been a while, absolutely, Lauren. So does anybody have anything they wanna ask me or laugh about with me about New Year's Eve or 2022 or anything you wanna shift energetically? 
um, together as we're on this live stream. So <clears throat> this music that you're hearing in the background is just part of the drop that I put together for um, the Celebrate membership. Uh, you can sign up and it's only $88 a month. I put um, all my sessions that I do, I'll take out the light language. <laughs> Happy New Year! Woo oh, it's New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Yay! Happy New Year! On the East Coast. It's only 9 o'clock here, so. I can still go to celebrate New Year's in a couple hours, so. <laughs> um. So Celebrate Drops available, and I've been stuffing so much good stuff in there. We have like a painting class. We have a Shake Your Body Sacred Dance movement. We have the um, Pleasure Pathways, Sacred Blush. We have um, a bunch of music drops like this with light language that activate you. We have um, all the client sessions that I do, I take out the light language and anything private is you know, not in there. And you get the benefit of all the work I'm doing. I do a lot of stuff every month and I squeeze it down into what I call drops and you get to listen to it and on SoundCloud or in the membership area and you get to jam out with Valtopia. Hey Alicia, happy new year, yay! So, um, Let's all shake our booty for 2022. Let's let our wombs of creation bring in love and bliss. Let's allow ourselves to ground deeply into all the fairies and the dragons and our ancestors that are here for us. And let us be the expression of heart, love, and abundance in our trust and our words and our love and our creation and our beingness. Yay, happy new year. Lauren says, I've got to network more. There you go. Well, I joined a new network and I've had some technical difficulties. I'm really not happy about that part, but, but um, I think it's meant to let me focus on some other stuff first before. Uh, but all of my amazing programs and light language and everything is gonna be available through the, this new network. And you'll be able to sign up for such a low fee. Like the link is ready. If you wanna have the link, I'll give it to you but you won't be able to see my stuff yet, but other people's stuff is ready. And you'll be able to network and you'll be able to meet a whole bunch of new people and the membership fee is so low right now because it's a new thing. So if you wanna be a pioneer and have an, um, a beautiful network to share outside of these ones that are so restricted, honey, it's here, it's here and I've signed up and I'm gonna be doing the Valtopia channel on there. and. Um, I also have one offer before the midnight, and I'm, it's only nine o'clock here in Los Angeles, so you still have a little bit of time to book in uh, to get um, six portrait, six monthly sessions for an incredible, wonderful rate. Like, wait, what? Like, don't miss this. So every month you get a virtual portrait session with me and it's all live. You sit with me at wherever you are and we re screen record the portrait and our conversation and you feel me working on you and then you get a portrait with the end that activates you. And I've done so many of these. Hi, Amanda, I did Amanda's Happy New Year. And um, I have this amazing offer right now for six months and you have to get it by today for the special rate or you can book in at the 2022 rate tomorrow and i'm sticking with this i'm sticking with this because uh it's a beautiful offer and the exchange is incredible and what you put into it is what you'll receive back so i would love for you to sign up for this i'd love you to sign up for celebrate and whoever's just joining now if you would love to have a card a new year's eve card share the live stream and i'll, I'll have a bunch of decks here and i'm Let's party, let's love it. So I'm not partying, like I'm, I'm drinking water. Cause I love my liver, honey. I love my liver. And I have not loved my liver in years past. So to me, the thought of abusing my liver right now doesn't sound like any fun. It just doesn't sound fun. Oh, and you can get the Valtopia coloring book on Amazon. I would love to sell a few more coloring books before 2022. If anybody wants to, they're only $8. You can buy some for your friends. And um, this, this, is a, this is my coloring book that I did, uh, the first project that I did as Valtopia. And um, I went bestseller overnight. I spent months drawing these 
and developing a community and sharing them. And we went bestseller overnight and it's a healing activation in itself, this whole coloring book. You could give that to somebody and make their whole year, their whole 2022. So you can find it on Amazon. Um, you've never had a drink. Well, there you go. I've had lots of drinks. The film business, uh, the film production business is notoriously alcoholic and I spent many years having drinks with all those fellas at lunch, margaritas, because you had to spend a lot of hours just waiting for renders and waiting for people to decide if they liked what you were doing. And I don't know, you just spent time getting to know each other and working on stuff. Let's pull an Arcturian light activation card and see what comes through. Hey, Deanna, there's my girl. Happy New Year. Woo! Happy New Year. It just turned New Year's for you, didn't it? Yes. Ah, oh, a fox. The fox medicine. Fox medicine. Yeah, do you guys pick words? I didn't pick a word. I have picked words before. I did not pick a, a word. But I think peace and focus are my vibes. Peace and focus. Your words are community and gratitude. Those are good words to have, Lauren. I like those. I like those. Deanna, do you want a card for Happy New Year? Who wants a card? Anybody else? Um, let's see if we can tune into what... Uh, let's, let's see what question card we have for our journal prompt for the morning. For anybody that's watching this tomorrow morning, Happy New Year! And your question for your journal today from the Valtopia Sphere is... And if you want your own question card, just say I would love one in the comments. Why do I like people? <laughs> and this is, I'm sure, apropos as we all pick sides and beat each other up for our truths and untruths. We're going to have to come together, people. We've been, we've been purposely divided and uh, the truths are coming out and... They're hard to believe, and um, we're gonna we're gonna need to be kind and compassionate with each other. So we're gonna need to like people. <laughs> so, hi, Ju hi Judith, how are you? Happy New Year! Welcome, welcome. And if you'd love a card, let me know. I'll pull a question card or cosmic. Uh, what is this? Cosmic? Uh, the Starseed Oracle. Thank you, Lauren. You'll take a card, but you know what you have to do. Absolutely. Do you want a question card? Let's do a question card, Lauren. That way you can just tune in to your own guidance in your journal. Oh, I love this. Why do I deserve what I want? There you go. Why do I deserve what I want is, is a great question. And how do you feel when you know that you deserve what you want? When I know what I deserve, what I want, I feel, I feel confident. I feel... Um, energized. I feel grounded. I feel certain. I feel trust. I feel connected. Those are some good feelings for sure. Judith, can I pull a question card for you? Yay! Well, happy new year. I hope y'all are celebrating. I, I can't believe I'm, I'm, I didn't miss the ball falling, but you know what? I don't care. I haven't cared in a few years about all these these things and I'm just rolling with it day to day. I am excited to be mindful and to have spent the day thinking and focusing and the weeks leading up to this, what I'm releasing and what I'm creating. And I have so much uh, exciting stuff to offer you and I'm gonna put my links in the comment below. And um, let me know if you watch this and if you're here, say hi. If you're joining, I see everybody popping on here and they're happy new year, is that Sandy? Happy new year. Yay! Let's pull a couple more cards before I go. Let's see. This came up twice tonight on the reading. So, and I keep having a, ooh, why can I have extra money? There you go. Journal about why you can have extra money and how do you feel when you have extra money. When I have extra money, I feel um, generous. I feel present. I feel calm. I feel capable because I can go and do the things. I feel supported. Those are good feelings. Hey, cuz, happy new year. 
Happy New Year. Lauren says, I deserve what I want because there is nothing else to do and you do not get very far being undeserving. There you go. Well, you also just deserve what you want because you deserve, you deserve what it's yours to want. You wanted it, so there must be a reason. <laughs> and, you know, when we think about our desire and we think about ourselves as divine vessels of desire, the message, if you're in clarity and communication with yourself and you do the work and a desire comes through you from the divine, you're the one that gets to bring it to fruition. That's a blessing. You get to honor your desire by being the person that manifests them. How cool is that? Happy New Year. Um, so let's let's see what, what, what Spirit says about what creator, what soul, what message come through. Any more messages? I was feeling the solar plexus today. I felt it earlier with Keisha. Um, and we were feeling that connecting to the heart chakra. And then that was affecting a part of the brain. And, you know, that's how it is when we do this energy work. Um, we feel a part, if you, you, you'll, you'll have numbed out and blanked out some part of yourself and gotten used to not feeling that. And when we do this work of tune in and begin to become aware, all of a sudden you can feel the pathways throughout yourselves where the energy connects, perhaps in your heart chakra where it feeds into the solar plexus or maybe where your throat and chest connect where you have a lot of anxiety or guilt and shame. Um, and maybe that connects into how you receive your inspiration. So if you aren't aware of how all that connects, the more you can do work to feel that, the more quickly you can discern what kind of decisions you wanna make and how things are going for you. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Lauren says, what else is there to do? Nothing really. I've been disappointed a lot this year and the only thing that seemed to make me happy is feeling overpowered when I go beyond humanity. I don't know exactly what you mean by going beyond humanity. Hi, George. Happy New Year. Happy blessings. You're on the East Coast. It's New Year for you. Yay. Hey, I look so funny doing my little... <laughs> Isn't that a character from a movie that does that? Oh, oh, oh. All right. What else can we find here for our um, messages coming through? And did anybody else want to um, uh, receive a card or um, be connected with a message. These are really fun. These are Turian Light activation cards because there's no words on them. And you just get to de decide for yourself what the message is. Oh yeah, the Nutty Shep Professor. I don't have any champagne. Happy New Year, Alicia. I'm actually sitting here by myself in my studio. Um, I might go see my friend, but um, I just felt really tired today and I, you know, I was chilling. So I did, I did happy new year things with myself all day and I had my kids this morning. So I feel amazing and excited um, to really bring forward the next level of my work in 2022. And that's gonna be womb and pleasure restoration and recalibration. You know, I've done a lot of work with guilt and shame and releasing and recalibrating to expanding levels of self and trust to divine and people birthing their own healing modalities. And um, I really feel the next step of this is for us to rebirth our pleasure pathways and to really own our soulgasm. That's what I wanna work on. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So that's where I'm going with 2022. And if that excites you, and you want to work with me on that? I already, I've already birthed a program, a beautiful program, and um, it, th these frequencies are here for us. They're so powerful. So, and the work is about there is guilt and shame and perceptions and beliefs and inner child work and ancestral work, um, and this is about that connection to that magic that's in that part of our our pleasure pathways and knowing. Um, it's safe to feel pleasure and um, it, we are instead of seeking comfort in these difficult times um, we can be rebirthing our pleasure which allows us to be in a state of connection and power to ourselves 
and in, instead of um, being comfy and settling into what isn't expanding us, we can be expanding in pleasure. And sometimes pleasure includes pain and birthing through pain and getting to the pleasure versus when you're comfy, you're just comfy. You know what I'm saying? So, Lauren needs more gratitude for the life you have. You know what? We can all have more gratitude. That's where all the movement to good things begins. Keisha said, as soon as you said soulgasm, my throat chakra constricted and went into a coughing fit. Keisha, do we have more work to do together? <laughs> we did a lot of womb work with you. And the work I was doing with you, I had never experienced, Keisha, the womb, ancestral, like clearing mass graves kind of stuff. And I went through it myself this year. It's heavy duty stuff. And it takes a while to recalibrate uh, when, you, when you've gone through that work. Um, and I think that's really interesting that connected to your throat chakra uh, with that. What else is coming up for you? The coughing fit. Right, and I can feel that energy. And that goes back to, you know, our, our owning our pleasure is owning our power, is releasing a lot of beliefs and programs that are embedded in us. So, um, I love that. Lauren lives like a six-figure earner without earning it. I am debt-free and can never get sick. I am not overweight and do not take any medication. Congratulations, that's fantastic. That's important. So, um, all right, the soulgasm. That's funny that makes your throat chakra tight and I'm feeling the tightness now. Now I wanna pull a card around that. Let's pull it, um, I'm gonna use the tarot just to see what comes through. Kiri wa shikwa kana, turukuri kirimana nishikurukuri kirima wa nanamara kukirimashu, rukwa kama wa hima kwa kirimashu. Ooh, that came flying out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Grief. Grief release. Yeah, it's a big one. Owning and easily communing our ple communicating our pleasure. It is a big one, and it's all locked in. We have, not locked in, linked in. You know, we have the throw passageway, which is similar to the other passageway, which is what I want to deal with and as I grow into this work. And that's when I talk about reclaiming your pleasure pathways. I'm talking about that throat down there and the womb area um, and our beliefs and perceptions around what it is to, to claim ownership of that and to enjoy that with and to, to feel all of it. And to really feel all of it, there is a lot of grief release that happens, right? Um, a lot of grief release that happens. And um, it's magic when we can balance the integration of our cosmic mission. And, and another thing that we're doing with this womb work is disconnecting from the lunar cycles and uh, connecting to the solar power that we are right, that we've been deprived of for a long time. And I'm just, this is why I've been going quiet because I don't wanna take on words and messages from other people. I wanna do this work um, as guided as the messages are coming in, truly uh, soul guided. And, um, and so it takes getting quiet and not being, you know, immersed in everyone else's stuff and seeing what what it, clues are coming in, what messages, what instructions, what directives. And um, there it is, I've, there's that. Do you feel that energy shift? Ooh, that goes right into the heart, the lower left heart. Obligation and guilt. There's a lot of, there's grief, obligation and guilt and um, attachment to uh, just the way things have been for so many centuries. We just all know it so so well, right? Lauren's bills are paid two months in advance. The only thing disappointing is the fact that I don't have all my whims met. You're untouchable and may seek to maintain the state. Well, it's good to feel a sense of strength and sovereignty and... Um, uh, it is a it is a daily process and choice, isn't it, Lauren? It's a power choice for sure. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a little light language to really balance this energy that we've kind of been playing in tonight. And if anybody's watching this, and Keisha, all of you, um, I'm dedicated to expanding into my gifts uh, and to owning this space of being that I am and have been guided to. And, um, you know, um, I trust in leaning into that, even though my human being's like, you need to go get more training and stuff. It's like, no, I don't. I don't need any more training. <laughs> I need to trust and lean into what I'm being guided to. And this is what I've been teaching other people to do over these last few years. So now I get to do it for myself. And that's so cool. So, wait, what is your problem, Lauren? You said that is your problem that you don't want to be, you want to stay untouched. Well, these are choices. These are choices. All right, I'm going to pull one last Arcturian light activation. Actually, no, these aren't Arcturian. These are the Gaia, Gaia, Gaia Oracle cards. Gaia Oracle deck. I love it. Mahi 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 I love it. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> these, card, these cards are hilarious. Um, there's a powerful medicine that comes through. I don't know if you've ever done mushrooms, but when you do, there's an, a heightened oh, um, color and intensity to visuals and to sensations. And um, that heightened awareness is like gratitude. It's like a gratitude that's amplified when, and, and lets you lean and open up into higher levels of resonance, which most of us are used to being in lower, we're used to being in lower levels of resonance and um, kind of pooling there with everyone. And then we kind of lift ourselves up, like I was saying at the top of the stream, and then we, we expand and contract. And um, this medicine, the mushroom medicine, allows you to be in that expanded state and embody that and stay in that state where the colors are brighter and where you're more willing to see the joy and the expansion and the limitless possibilities of things. So that is the message. Can I answer any more questions or connect uh, anything else with you? I would love for you guys to sign up for the Celebrate membership. Um, or to get your Valtopia coloring book, or be the one person that gets the amazing uh, six months of portraits, monthly portraits. And if you were listening to this about the womb exploration, that would be a way to begin this work with me for an amazing investment level. It's like not, it's not a lot. Of, um, it, it's meant to be a wonderful opportunity at the end of the year. I know I've booked in for things when I didn't feel like I wanted to invest and that was something that really helped me a lot. So I wanted to offer something like that today where somebody could get in at a level that's really accessible and you know that you have six months of sessions. So the sessions are virtual and um, we do that all screen record and you get to feel me working on you while I'm recording it and we could see everything. Hi Alpita, happy new year. So don't miss out on this offer. If you ever wanted to get your portrait done, this would be a great, great way. And if you love these frequencies and energy and you want to catch up on all the stuff I've been doing all year, you can sign up now. It's only $88 a month for the, the, um, the Celebrate membership. And you get 2020, 2021 and everything going forward. So happy new year, Lauren. Have a great night. Um, so Elpita, happy new year. How are you? All right, so I, this is the first live stream I've done in a long time. It's like riding a horse, kind of get back on and get back in there. And I'm so grateful that some of you are always here. Keisha, I'm so happy to connect with you and um, Lauren and everybody. And thank you for sharing and um, George, Alicia, and um, cousin. And I was just trying to make sure, Deanna, Amanda. Raquel, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Hi Jody. 
Yay! So I'm going to be coming on more um, in the flow always, and I'll be sharing about my network soon. If you want to join me on there, then ask me. Come and join me. So, ooh, interesting energy coming through right here. I'm so happy you came on live. What a nice way to bring in 2022. Yay! Thank you. Me too. I'm. That's what I wanted. I was like, let's start off 2022 in the Valtopia sphere. Woo! So here I am. I love you all. And um, even if I'm not live every day, I am here bringing through amazing stuff. And I can't wait to oh, fully, fully embody the soul gasm for 2022. That's my word for 2022, honey. Soulgasm. There you go. <laughs> All right. I love you. Happy New Year. Love your frequency. You're the miracle. See you on the next one. Hi, this is Val Cripps, and I wanted to record an intro video for those of you who are just meeting me for the first time, and for those of you who already know me a really long time and need a reintroduction. We all have busy lives, and we come and go through each other's social media and in person. And so I'd love to say hello again if you're watching this. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. Tell me how you found me. And uh, tell, tell us something about yourself. Let's build community through this platform. So I'm Val. My platform is Valtopia. That's the name of my company as well. And I birthed my company, my platform, and the movement Valtopia here at the beach. I